Hi, I'm Janelle Marie. Welcome once again to Body Beautiful, the show where we talk with local professionals about the latest in cosmetic procedures and medical devices. We're also going to take your calls live on the air, so get ready for that. With us today, we have plastic surgeon, surgeon Dr. Joseph Mealy. Thank nice you for uh, joining me again today. We always have so much fun on the show. We're going to talk about a bunch of different topics, mommy makeovers, breast augmentation, breast reduction in both men and women, and then later we'll be taking your phone calls, answering your questions, anything you might have. Here's the phone number. You guys write this down. 415-561-8753. 415-561-8753. And we'll also post the doctor's phone number later, so get ready to take that down. Remember, before we get started, any advice we give you today, you want to consult your own physician, of course. All right, so thanks again for being here, doctor. Let's get right to it and talk mommy makeovers. Big okay. deal. A lot of friends of mine, they have their babies, and then they're unhappy because their breasts sag, their stomach's loose. What can we do? Yeah, no, babies are tough on the breasts and the bellies. Yeah. And uh, mommy makeover is kind of a big conglomeration of procedures. Usually it's something to do with uh, enhancing the breasts as well as flattening the stomach. Mm -hmm. the, sort of the typical one is the breast augmentation with a tummy tuck. That combination is probably the most common out of all the mommy makeovers. But it may include breast reduction sometimes, may include breast lifts, may not be a full tummy tuck, maybe a mini tummy tuck or liposuction. And the goal is just to get everything back into balance. And so let's talk about that because mini tummy tuck, I like the sound of that because does that mean you don't have to cut through the muscles? What's the deal? Neither uh, procedure cuts through the oh, muscle. Oh, that's good so to know. So with tummy tucks, we're not going inside. We're, everything is superficial, mm -hmm. but we do tighten the case around the muscle. Oh, okay. So you can think of the muscle as having a front and back wall. We're tightening up that front wall like a corset to keep everything back. Okay, okay, uh, good. So neither one cuts it, but the advantage of a mini tummy tuck is it is a little easier recovery because we're not tucking as much. Uh, we're not tightening as much. And so who's a good candidate then for the mommy makeover? So mommy makeover, it doesn't have to be mommies. Uh, it certainly right. works for folks who've lost weight also. Right. Similar things happen. Uh, but as someone who is not happy with the shape or size of their breasts and has some laxity in the lower abdomen, but is otherwise in good shape and not too far away from their ideal weight. I have a question. Scars, are they getting any better, you know, to do a scar where it's just not noticeable? Are there any new procedures that you do that makes the less the scar less noticeable? It's a, it's a really exciting uh, time for scars because they're recognizing some of the genes that help us form scars yeah. and they're finding out if they knock out a few of them the scars are much better. Really? And it has to do with the amount of tension that's on a scar. So if you have something that's pulled together very tightly which is what we're trying to do with tummy tucks, right. the scar naturally wants to be wider. So what we try and do internally is put sutures to take that tension off. There's also some devices we can use externally that help with scars in terms of uh, like a silicone sheeting that's pre-stretched that will go over the surface and then when you take it off its carrier, it kind of pushes the skin together and takes some of that tension off. So it's very exciting. You know, I've heard glue. Do you use glue for scars? I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, I get nice results without the glue. Yeah. The thing I worry about with glue is you, you have to close it meticulously before putting the glue on. Okay. Because if you get glue into the wound, it's like having a foreign good. body in the wound. I got you. All right, so let's talk mommy makeover again. How long are the procedures? How long, you know? Sure, it, it depends on what we're doing. It could be anywhere from a couple hours to eight hours okay. if we're doing a whole bunch of stuff at once. Uh, it's all done under anesthesia, so from the patient's perspective, uh, you go to sleep, next thing you know, you're done. Right. In fact, the most common question I get is, when are we going to start? Right. Uh, so the anesthesia <laughs> makes it much easier for everyone. We've got some before and after pictures, too, so let's go oh, to the right. first one. There you go. What's going so on here? So here's someone, uh, sort of by average, uh, normal mommy who's had a baby, has lost some volume in the breast, has some deflation there, and then the belly gets stretched out. And it's yeah. not that she's overweight, there isn't a lot of fat there. It's just the muscle's been stretched. Right. It's pushing everything underneath. I love uh, that. So we've done is breast augmentation uh, with the tummy tuck. And I see you brought the fullness to the top of the breast also, which yes. is nice. Yeah, we get a little more upper pull fullness as well as the flattening mm -hmm. of the abdomen. And you can see the shadow at the before picture on the left mm -hmm. where the, the rectus muscle has been pulled apart. Yeah. And afterwards, you don't see that shadow because it's see pulled that back to the middle. <gasps> That's so good. Uh, did you, uh, next one, let's go to the next one. By the way, did you do lipo on any of these also? Uh, I did, actually. On this lady, we did a breast lift with an wow. augmentation as well as a tummy tuck and then some lipo. Mm -hmm. And I took some of that fat and did what's called a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, you did? a little fat to you the buttocks did? also yeah, uh, look to at give that. her back some volume there. So oh, that's really good. We can move a lot of stuff around. <laughs> uh, that's really good. You know, I didn't you, know you could do that. You don't want your plastic surgeon to be too creative. <laughs> exactly, but I love that. But it never hurts to ask. And so let's talk recovery time for something like that because people, you know, they have to go back to work quickly these sure. days. 
days. The recovery time, usually out of all those procedures, it's the tummy tuck that's slowing us down the most. Really? Because we're tightening the core, we're tightening the abdominal muscles. Oh, okay. So even when we lift our arms, we're contracting those muscles to be stable. Right. Uh, we don't want to do really heavy duty lifting for about six weeks. Okay. That gives that lots of time to heal. But in terms of getting up, walking around, usually within a couple days, people are getting up, moving pretty well. That's not bad. By a week, uh, drains and other things that slow us down are gone. Uh, and I'd say most people, just about everyone by two weeks is back at work doing what they need to do, especially if it's desk work. Oh, that's you know, not If they're lifting heavy objects, then it's going to take a little longer. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, um, at least, you know, you're recovering quickly from these things. Yeah. Um, it, breast size. Can you be guaranteed a, a certain breast size if you're getting your breasts um, augmented while you do the mommy makeover? I think the best quote I heard on that was from a plastic surgeon at one of our meetings who said, if a patient wants to guarantee they have a certain yeah. cup size, I have to buy the bra. Oh, okay. Because it depends on who makes okay. a bra. Yeah. I, mean, I had a lady who came in just this week who most people would say is a large B to C. Right. But when she shops at Victoria's Secret, she's a double exactly. D. Exactly. So it changed. Bring, bring in Huge the Huge variety. Yeah. All right. You know what? If you want more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925-943-6353 or check him out on the web, drmealy.com or sanfranciscobreast.com. Stay tuned, you guys, because coming up, we got lots more to talk about, augmentations, etc. Phone number 415-561-8753. We're going to take your phone calls when we come back on Body Beautiful. The information and advice given on this program is for general informational purposes only. For medical advice on specific treatments, medical professionals should be consulted. You should not initiate a course of treatment without consulting a qualified doctor. The opinions expressed on the program are those of the guests and not those of Cron TV, its management, employees, or advisors.